Okay, in this video, I will teach you on how to use Katia on sketching 2D um, based on the left diagram. Okay, as usual, first open uh, the Katia software and click to the start, click to mechanical and sketch it. So, go for sketch. Okay. So next, please select which, which plane do you want to do the sketch. So in this case, we use Y Z uh, plane. Okay. So now we are already in sketch uh, interface. Okay. In order to draw this uh, left diagram, we need to plan first. Okay. So we can use this axis as a reference. For example, here is our x-axis, and we can take another axis. As a y-axis. Okay. So this is our main axis. So we already have this axis. Okay, for our next step is we want to draw two circles here which have a diameter of, of 25 diameter and another circle with a diameter of 32. So select circle and select the uh, circle. Okay, before that, make sure your unit in millimeter. So what you need to do is you need to change the option to make sure it will be millimeter. Okay. So in this case it's already millimeter. So we continue start to draw. Okay. So the first uh, circle is 25 millimeter. So we just select this and double click at the number. So in this case the diameter is 25 change to diameter and change to 25 and so we we'll have the first one is 25 diameter then the next one we want to do a 32 diameter of circle so create another circle set a constraint and make sure it's diameter it should be 32 diameter so now we have two diameter here Okay, next is we do another diameter at the top of this image. So just select any uh, area. Okay, we make the first circle with the radius of 25. Select constraint. Make sure the radius is 25. Sorry, the radius is 5. Then, select the second circle, which is the radius is 7.5. Select constraint, 7.5. So, now we have two circles here. Next is, make sure the distance from the center of the below circle and the center of above circle is equal to 70 constraint select the center select the second center and change the diameter to 70 of length okay if you want so you can zoom the drawing okay so this is the main drawing Okay, then we do all the, the circle of inside, which is four radius circle, which has a tangent at the 32 circle. So make it first the circle, okay, with the radius of four. Then we need to tangent this circle with the bigger 
circle of 32. So select the first circle, control, select the second circle, and select constraint defined in the in dialog box. Select tangent. So your drawing will be automatically tangent with the circle. Okay. Then we do another circle at the top. Make sure while you are doing the drawing, the, ten, the, the circle should not be tangent directly. So we need to do it uh, separately. So make a circle first, free circle. Okay, the right radius of 2.5. Then select both circle, select constraint, select tangent. Okay. In this case, you notice the circle go inside. So you need to cancel first. Select, in, select again. Okay, select tangent. Select again okay, and select tangent. So it will be outside. So now we already have this circle. So we can do the line of tangent between both small circle. So select a line here, make sure it will be orange color and select it here. Okay, next select this one. You have two options. First is select this one and select the another one or you can make it mirror. This is mirror. Select this one, select the axis, sorry, select this one, select mirror, and select the axis, so you will get another one here. Okay. So done for the internal part. Okay. Next is we should have the radius of 5 here on your left side and on your right side. So we know that. This radius is a tangent with a radius of 7.5. Okay, then the distance is 8.5 from both circles. Now we want to do two circles here for R5 and above and R8.5 and the line. So what we need to do is we need to make a circle the radius of 5 okay then we need to tension this circle and the R7.5 circle okay then next we make another circle at the below which is the radius of 8.5 then we tangent it between this circle and this circle is tangent ok we have two circles here ok then we can make a line from this tangent make sure it will be a center tangent to a center tangent of here so we have left side of the circle and line so what we need to do we need to constrain it to become from this tangent or line to this axis it should be 8.5 divided by 2 is 4.25 and another one at the below side from this tangent line This axis, sorry, we need to select stream from this tangent line and this axis is seven distance. 
So we have the correct one for the left side. So what you need to do is you need to select the first, the both of the circle and also the line, and just mirror it at the axis. So you will get in the right side a similar design. Okay. Now we already have uh, the draft of the design. So the next one is you just need to trim to make it clear. So select quick trim. Okay, we go for the below part first. Okay, so you can just select which one uh, the circle the trim. So each time you need to reselect back. Okay, reselect back. So select okay, make sure the design should be the same. Okay, done for below part. So we go for upper part. Now, the design is for this design is finished. Thank you.